All right, you guys, just got out here to the little community pond again. Very nice cloud coverage out here, finally. It's very hot during the day to fish. Right now it's 7 p.m., so we have till about 8.30, then it really does get dark. I brought out my light combo. We have a small crappie max tube on there with a chartreuse head. This line right here is six pound line. I do not remember the weight on that head. Might be a 16th ounce. I'm not entirely sure. But well, we're going to see if they'll bite that. And if they don't, we'll switch out. You guys stay tuned. All right, you guys. One thing I've noticed just now is that I completely forgot my scale and the grippers. So we will not be able to weigh any fish today. I can guess them pretty good, though. There's a lot of twos and a lot of smaller ones. We're going to start off with our first cast being by that drain pipe. We have a lot of good luck there. Oh, that didn't make it quite that far, but we'll still swim it around here. I'm going to fish this a little more and then we'll switch out. That's a fish. That's a fish, you guys. It was going my way before I was even reeling it. I don't know if I have them hooked set pretty good though. So far it looks like it, but they can spit it out. Oh, it's a catfish. My enemy. I hate the catfish. Very slimy fish. We're gonna get them off with the pliers. At least we got our first bite, I guess. You just wanna watch out for their barbs. Let me wash my hand real quick. The proper way. Very slimy fish right here. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. You wanna watch the fins. And I always grab them like this, right behind them. Oh, he got it on top of the mouth. He got hooked pretty good. He wasn't coming off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There we go. Popped right out. Little catfish. They are very slimy, you guys. There we go, there we go. A bass finally took it. I was swimming it pretty quickly. That bass wanted it. Took the little bite off. Oh, he got unhooked. Quick release. I'm gonna put on another one. We'll keep on fishing. There we go, there we go. That fish is hooked. It's a little one. Fighting pretty hard though. Wow, it feels heavy on this line. Hooked on the bottom of the mouth. Bass number two. We are getting the bites, you guys. There we go. Pop that right out of you. Nice little fish. We're going to let him go. All right.
There we go, there we go, there we go. That bass is hooked. Chased it. Again, they feel pretty heavy. Look at them go, look at them go. Keeps on shaking like crazy. We're gonna let you go, bass. Nice little fish. Wow, he's angry. We're gonna put him back in. There he goes. All right, you guys, so I made it back to the house. We ran out of daylight. I had a lot of luck fishing that small lure. I'll show it here real quick. That little crappie max. What color is that? Red slash pearl. This is actually Bass Pro Shops brand. Cooper's going crazy. We just let him out of the crate. If you have a dog, you just let him out of the crate. You know what it's like. If they're very hyper, this dog's very hyper. Anyways, I have a couple of these left. So you can tell they really do work and these are salted. I believe the last ones I've had before were not salted. I don't really know how much that affects the action or the bite. And towards the end I started rigging them with the crappie nibbles. I think that did make a difference. These Barkley power bait, they really do have a ton of scent. And not only the crappie will bite it, bass will bite it and the catfish will bite it. There's Cooper playing with his toy. It's pretty hyper. But anyways, we had a catfish, I believe three bass. We did have some bluegill bites, but they were not hooked. So I believe it was three bass and a catfish. Not a bad day of fishing for just about an hour and a half. Anyways, if you enjoyed today's video, you guys, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe.